All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get a map from Google Maps into BeamNG. And I'm using this tool called Manticorp. You can just Google search um, Hype Map Generator, and it's one of the first ones that come up. But it's labeled as 16-bit uh, grayscale PNG Hype Map Generator for Unreal Engine. But we're gonna use it for BeamNG. Couple things here. I found a location I like already. Black Mountain, I think somewhere in Arizona. I'm using 512 by 512 uh, pixel resolution because that's a four by four kilometer area. So that's already pretty big, like to scale in real life. And I think that's gonna be small enough to fit in the game comfortably. The important numbers to look at here are the pixel resolution, and the height range. I'm gonna do some quick math on my phone real quick for this height range, because that's gonna be used for later. So I'm gonna do 1082.059 minus 764.0. That's 317.293. So I'm just going to make a quick text file. Point nine meters per pixel. I'm just gonna save that for later. Um, so the first thing that you want to do on this is to generate the height map. So let's go ahead and do that. And then you want to generate the albedo from view. But before you do that, make sure you pick like a satellite image. So we'll do that. And there's the satellite image with the colors and everything. Now I'm going to go into my downloads and rename it. I'll just call it, I think I called this level in the game, I called it alpha. So I'll just call it alpha base or alpha HM for the height map. And alpha base for the base color. Now, before I put this in the game, I'm going to try something new. I'm going to upscale this. Usually I upscale it to um, So when I load this in the game, I, I, I want to use the height map, which is going to be 512 by 512. But for the texture, all you have to do is upscale it. And as long as it's a power of two, uh, you should be good. So I'm using this tool called Upscale. I'm going to try 16K today. Normally I do 8K. What is the resolution for 6 Let's just do 8K. 8K should be fine. And because this is a map, the details like don't matter as much as like, you know, AI, I, I would say this is a good use for an AI upscaler, is what I'm really trying to say there. So you'll see this is the new upscaled image, and it's in my downloads folder now. I'll just rename it to... One, nine, two. Now, I already created a map in game. I'm not going to show how to do that. But what I want to do is copy the height map and the upscaled base texture into that folder. Now I'm going to go into the game. And I need to have my notes ready, so I'm going to put them on my other screen.
free roam, auxiliary debug content. And we're looking for the alpha map, this one. Hit the J key to pause, hit F11 to go into the editor. Delete the old demo terrain. I also like to delete the vegetation. So now we have a blank slate, essentially. First thing I'm gonna do is go to the terrain tools and I'm gonna to go to import terrain. I'm going to look at my notes. Uh, the meters per pixel should be 7.9. And the max height is 317.293. The height map image is right here. Let's open it and import it. Next thing I'm going to do is go to my object select and select my terrain and bring it up out of the water. You know, you can keep it in the water if you want, but I'm gonna take it out. And there's my terrain. I'm gonna go ahead and rebuild the collisions now. Edit menu, rebuild collision, and let's move the player to a better spot. just so I, because I'm going to have to do this later anyway. That works. Hit the two key for rotation. Hold the alt key. If you want to do like a little bit of snapping. Um, let's hit the J key to unpause. Make sure those collisions are working and they are. And we'll hit the J key to pause again. Let's go ahead and save the level. Now on the terrain, we want to go back to the terrain tools, go to painter, and then go to terrain material library. Click plus to add a new material. I'm just going to call it desert and click add material. Now I'm gonna click on that desert material and click upgrade to the new pipeline and close those out. I'm gonna set the base texture to whatever resolution I did, which is 8192. So if you set yours to 8192, that's what you wanna use. And then you do half for the macro and half of that I would assume for the detail. So. 2048. All right, apply changes. And now we can go over here and add the base texture. So let's click on browse, go to our levels, alpha, I named it alpha, so it's at the top. And we wanna choose base 8192 and open it. Now you also need to have a ambient occlusion I'm just going to use the same exact thing because I don't know how to do ambient occlusion yet, but you have to have something in the ambient occlusion. So let's save changes to file. Um, go back to our terrain painter, add the material desert. It's going to turn black for a moment because I still have to get rid of this warning material. And there it is. Now, one thing that I have to adjust normally, anyways. Well, is it good? No repeating textures. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a big line down the middle here. So when you see that, that means you have to change this. Let's go back to base color. I'm going to change this to 512. That usually gets me set right, I don't know why. But let's save changes. And I think that looks right. And one more thing I wanna do, it's super annoying. Go to object select, go to the level info and hit zero for fog. Cause fog is super annoying. That'll help you see your map. Did I not raise this up enough to get it out of the water? Don't care. Anyways, yeah, so 
This looks good now. Now I could have scaled this up to 16K for more like close to the ground details. You can see it's kind of ugly from up close. But that, yeah, this is uh, basically all you need to do. So now let's go to the player. I'm just gonna zoom in over here. I'll hit save, F11, unpause, and let's go for a ride. And this should be a true to scale um, representation of this mountain. Uh, and now I've never been to Black Mountain, but I'm gonna check it out on Google Maps after this and see if this feels true to scale. But I can only assume that it's pretty close anyways. And you can see we have some roads here. So if I want to add roads to the map later, I can. I, one thing I have not tried is upscaling the height map. I just don't know how that would, how that would work. If that would make like some of these like kind of jagged edges a little bit smoother, maybe. Because you can see these sort of jagged edges here. But I think it's still pretty good. So let's pause the game. I want to go to the top of the mountain here real quick. Let's just go all the way up here. Maybe right here. Uh, go to camera and then place player at camera. Press the one key and then bring it down a little bit. Hit F11, unpause. And here we are on the top of the mountain. Now you can see everything that is really far away looks pretty good, but everything that's up close is just super not great textures, even though I upscaled it. That's because the scale of this map is so huge. Um, it's four by four square miles. So I'm curious to hear if anyone has any improvements or ideas for you know just fixing like maybe fixing some of this these issues like this or even just making the map look better and uh yeah that's it